By the way, I just want to say, whoever that was out there with that amazing laugh, yeah. uh, you need to be here uh, for all of our screenings. Yeah, all of the screenings. Every other Friday, you I mean, need yeah, to be here, whoever the fuck you are. First and third Friday of every month, I want to hear... It'll <laughs> 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 make me so happy. All right, so we have the director, Eli Craig. Come on up. Come on, the fuck up. Well, holy shit, man. <laughs> Clearly this is going to be awkward, because they obviously hated it. I know. Uh, well, you can the hear problem, a pin drop. The problem was playing the scene by the bell clip ahead of time. Uh, <laughs> I'm, so I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so scared. I couldn't beat that. And then the dog tooth movie. Did anybody stay here for dog tooth? Was anybody here for dog tooth? Yeah, I was here too. I actually brought my sister to that. Oh. <laughs> and her boyfriend. And he was pulling her away from me. Well, now that's an inside joke. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Sorry, Sarah and Ben. But uh, this was so much fun. You guys, can you tour with me? We could do that. We can make this together. We could do something. No, you just gotta, you gotta get, get the guy with the laugh. I mean, the guy with the laugh, he'll definitely get bonus. Like, mm. He gets residual checks actually directly to his mailbox. I don't know, man. I I feel really good tonight, and mostly it's because I just want to party with you, motherfuckers. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm sure you've uh, answered this question a million times, but uh, could you tell us just, I mean, where did this project come from? How did this start? It, it really comes from my overall cynicism on life, I think, but uh, and just my sort of um, my slant on things. It came from the genesis. The idea was, what if Leatherface didn't really do it. And, uh, you know, a question we've all asked. Jason and Leatherface, all these guys were just being, you know, misconstrued, and it was all the fucking college kids that were coming after them, and, you know, it was their fault. So it was kind of a thin idea on paper. It was like, yeah. And they were like, and then somebody falls into a wood chipper. I co wrote this actually with a buddy of mine from film school. And, uh, this was actually a film, um, I mean, I guess I wrote it about a year after film school. And then it, it, it was just became this weird passion, I mean, like obsession of mine to make. Which, I don't know how many people know about making an independent film, but it kind of like requires that. And it was just like three years of trying to get the financing, and nobody wanted to finance it, and then we'd almost get the money, and then it would fall through, and then I'd almost make it on my DV camera for like $150. And then we'd get the financing, and then it would fall through. And like, I really didn't want to do it for you know like $150 because I thought it, it needed more than that. And uh, we finally uh, I met with these producers, Deepak Mehra and Thomas Augsburg, that were really behind the film. And they said we have no money ourselves. Uh, Thomas is German. I don't know. That's my German accent. You should throw like a das or a das nine gut. in there. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, Eli. No, he was he was like, we're gonna make this film, but we have no money, and it and it could take a very long time to get the money. And I said, all right, let's 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 just go that route. And um, we finally got a a, cup, a million dollars from a finance. I'm answering the questions because I know this is what people are just like. How'd you get the money? Like, how'd you do it? Right? Am I jumping the gun here? Oh no, totally. Uh, totally no. no. Totally no. <laughs> Um, so anyway, we, we got a uh, financier from, from England to put some money into this, and he was just basically counting on the tax break. He's like, this is going to be great, I'll get a tax break from this, and we don't really give a fuck about the film. And then literally, I, I literally like got pushed from a plane and like parachuted into Canada, and they were like, you'll make the movie in Canada. And, and you don't know anybody, and you'll find a place to do it. And it was like this, um, it's really like trial by fire experience. And, and I think the thing that was so cool is to have this cast. Um, Alan Tudyk, uh, Tyler Levine. The cast is fucking amazing. Like, like the, 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 the comic timing of those guys is like incredible. It's like you've yeah. got everybody in the cast seems to, to, to have like impeccable comic timing. It's a, was that just luck or is that? Uh, well, it, it, yeah, but it was also crafted a little bit. I mean, like, um, 
I, Alan came to us from luck. I mean, Alan Tudyk was just this, uh, he was this angel that kind of fell on us. But we had, I, I don't know, I was this huge fan of uh, Tyler Labine, and I couldn't think of any actors that could play this role. And, uh, and he was the only guy I went out to. I mean, actually, my producer said, who is this guy? And I said, well, he's in the show Reaper, and he's in this thing, Invasion. And I, it was like this, I was like a fanboy of his, you know? And I thought, I really want to see this guy with like a deeper role. And I thought he could, he could pull it off. And uh, I, I was lucky enough for the producers to just kind of let me do that. But then as soon as I did that, they were like, okay, well, now we need a big star in this other role. So we were financed, we had uh, Tyler Labine in place, and then, and then they kept saying, we need a big star, we need a big star. And, and we kept going out to actor after actor. We had a start date, and we were in pre-production, and everybody kept falling through. And finally, we, we thought we got this guy, and we were, we were booking him, and it was through CAA, and like we were all excited about this actor coming out. And then three days before going into production, he dropped out. Who was it? Uh, yeah, come on, you got to answer. <laughs> By the way, it was to do a Jennifer Aniston movie. Gerard Butler? Butler. No, not that big. <laughs> it was totally Gerard Butler. Yeah, it was Gerard Butler. Go plot Butler. that. <laughs> so Gerard Butler was going to play Tucker. <laughs> oh, kicked ass. I just felt he was right for the role. You, know? you started to like him because he did How to Train Your Dragon. But... <laughs> and it turned out he actually couldn't grow a beard. We're going to do it in a Scottish accent. Um, uh, uh, actually, Jason Sudeikis was going to play this, and uh, it fell apart. I'll tell you guys, you're a privileged crowd. Um, and, and it was like this amazing thing happened where uh, uh, the last three days before going into production, uh, uh, Alan showed up, and uh, he said, you know, I love the script, I want to do it, and we talked on the phone, and he was like, this could be either a really awesome movie or the worst fucking movie ever made. <laughs> Uh, and I knew that, and I actually, uh, I actually thought for a while I might have done the second one. Um, but so I tried to assure him that I wanted to do the awesome movie, and uh, and he uh, uh, packed his bags like that night. The next night he was on a plane, and then we had one day of rehearsal, and then we were shooting. And it was like that quick. The first day of shooting, we were shooting the scene of him by the truck with the scythe, that whole bit, um, and the inside of the store. And uh, so it was like right into the, the thick of it, and you know, it was just it was a godsend really to have him to be a part of it. So thank you, Alan.